fiber to fabric. We know that fabrics are made up of fibers and the source of this fabric fibers are one is natural. They can be from natural source or they can be synthetic. These days we can see there are fibers that are obtained by synthetic means also. So our discussion is only about natural fibers. Natural fibers that are obtained from plants. We are not discussing about that also. Only animal fiber we are discussing. In animal fiber we will be discussing about silk and wool. First wool then silk. Okay. Wool is obtained majorly from sheep. But there are other animals also from which the wool is obtained. Like for example wool is obtained from sheep, goats, camel, alpaca, llama, yak. So from all these animals wool is obtained. Okay. This wool has a different coarse textures compared to any other fiber you take compare you can compare with co cotton you can compare with any other fiber it has somewhat waviness waviness that is it's not straight like this there will be somewhat you can if you observe the woolen fiber carefully you can find there are some up and downs like that okay that makes it special because because of that only that bulkiness appears and because of the bulkiness only the air gets trapped inside. The trapped air in the wool also helps us to keep warm. Okay, in among this all the wool, all the animals will not have similar type of wool. Some have a little coarser wool. Some have somewhat soft wool. Okay. So those goats, which those animals which are having those uh, soft type of wools are, for example, Angora goat. The wool of Angora goat is very special and it is preferred over other animals. So this type of animals which produce uh, soft wool are separately selected. They are made to breed with local varieties sometimes or among themselves and this process is called as selective breeding. Okay, before that, we'll see different varieties of animals, uh, different varieties of sheep that are uh, that produce the wool. Lohi, Nali, uh, Rampur, and Bakarwal. Marwari. These are the names of goats, sheep from different places. And these are the, the difference that there will be difference in the wool that is obtained also. These are the varieties of sheep, sheep varieties from which wool is obtained in our country. In our country. Different breeds of sheep. You can say there are different breeds of sheep from which wool is obtained. Okay. So, we will go directly into the process of this wool obtaining from the sheep. First, selective breeding is done. Selective breeding means, I said use the selected varieties of sheep are bred. Breeding in involves Taking care of animals, providing shelter for them, providing proper food from them. And if the uh, cleanliness should be maintained in the sheds and it should be seen that these animals are disease free. So usually what sheep seeds they eat the uh, wet grass. So along with that wet grass. Because the wool should grow very well, some of the different kinds of foods are also supplied to the sheep like uh, oil cakes, corn, jowar, some seeds are added, corn, jowar, oil cakes, 
oil cakes like this green fodder fodder means which is rich of seeds okay the grass part of grass which is having seeds okay these are all uh, very given to the sheep so that it get, produces good amount of uh, wool good nice uh, nice what is the texture of wool okay and uh, sometimes the cleanliness is not maintained they, they may be infected with worm infection they uh, this may lead to the uh, death of the sheep and it may be loss for the farmer so this should be also avoided and what is selective breeding selective breeding means the uh, favorable variety of sheep is taken and it is cross bred with any local variety or sometimes both the parents are favorable variety sorry for local breed so the resultant will have the quality of both this desired animal as well as the local breed the wool quality increases wool quality increases this type of breeding these two animals is called as selective breeding we have selected the organism which we need bred it with the local variety and wool structure increases when you are performing this uh, production of wool the following steps need to be performed what are the steps that are to be performed first shearing is done after shearing scoring then comes sorting after sorting dyeing combing knitting so these are the different uh, steps that are involved in wool production process first of all shearing the animal is taken and skin uh, hair of the animal is removed hair of animal is removed when the hair of animal is removed it comes along with some part of skin some part of skin also comes along with so that part piece of that wool along with that skin is called as fleece so many fleece right this pieces of the small pieces of wool that come that means one part if it is removed like this with the help of a shear it is removed shear is a machine that is used to remove the hair of the fleece when it is removed like trimmer it will be once it is removed so it's not small like trimmer this much it is having very broader end with that help of that they'll remove the hair like this for one uh, once they pull out the hair like this that complete sheet will be removed that is called as fleece and uh, along with this fleece some part of skin also comes out so when this skin is coming the animal will not have any pain because this is dried skin dried skin does not harm this dried skin uh, will not harm that animal at all okay this shearing is usually done in summer season why in summer season what is the main purpose of wool for animal to keep the animal warm keeps the animal warm how does it keep the animal warm the wool Uh, is a insulating material. When this insulating material is covering that animal, sheep, whatever it is, okay, whether it is sheep, goat, alpaca, whatever it is, this wool covers the skin of animal. And our skin has one property: continuously we are emitting heat. Okay, so all warm-blooded animals, not only sheep, all all animals, all warm-blooded animals, we are all mammals. All mammals have this capacity to emit heat from the body. so when heat is emitted from the body that heat is trapped in, uh, around the body because of presence of wool moreover the wool is somewhat it is bulky in appearance it does not fill up the space it traps some air particles in between this air particles also get warmer and this acts as a complete insulating material heat will not escape outside so in this way animal is kept to warm usually these animals are found in you see for example llama yak alpaca like this animals 
Usually they are found in uh, hilly areas or polar regions where it is very cold. And uh, even in sheep also, it protects the animals like sheep also uh, from this co uh, cold uh, winter season, from the cold uh, effects of winter season, right? So it is usually done in summer season. Shearing is usually done in summer season because in that time, animal does not need that insulating material. It is already warm. So it can keep itself warm. Okay. So there is no need of any uh, covering over the skin. That if it is removed only animal feels itself protected. By the time next winter comes again that uh, fleece is completely developed. So that uh, is the reason why shearing is usually done in summer. Okay. So this is the first step completes. Now scoursing. The animal skin while while removing that animal skin, uh, grease is also applied. So one thing, uh, animal is also not clean all the time. It plays here and there. It is uh, uh, feeding in the uh, countryside field. Sometimes it fall, falls down. It gets uh, totally dirt over its place. The uh, wool itself is not clean by the time it is removed. After it is sheared, it's full of dirt, full of dust. And... Uh, that need to be cleaned and the cleaning is called as sourcing okay what is done in this process is what is done in this process is large uh what do you say large uh, uh, containers of water is taken in that detergent is added and all this flue fleece is dumped into that okay very large you they are very large containers okay even more than uh a room size, smaller room size. They may be as big as a smaller room size and they wash that fleece in that uh, surf water or detergent water or soap water and clean that. So after three to four washes, that fleece becomes clean. At that time, in fleece, there are two types of fleece. Each the, uh, uh, fleece that comes from an animal itself has coarse wool as well as soft wool these two need to be separated this is most important for making the woolen fabric coarse uh, wool is less used okay it is used to make second quality uh, of uh, uh, wool second quality of wools it's generally not preferred one so this two need to be separated that is done mostly by hand picking okay at that time uh, workers sit near that this uh, what is a sheared fleece and that is dried after washing it is dried and after that only it is sorted out this is coarse part this is soft part like that it is sorted out okay after the sorting is done color is to be added to this wood that color adding sorting means Separating coarse wool and soft wool, usually done manually. After that, dyeing is done, adding color. Adding color, wool does not take all the colors. It takes somewhat selected colors. Will you say, so this wool that is generally obtained from sheep will not accept all the types of dyes. Some darker type of dyes, uh, like oh, dark, what do you say, maroon color. Uh, brown color like this dyes are accepted by this wool so this what it what is done is uh, they are taken in tumblers boiling water is added in that and uh, dye is added in that in that after mixing the dye the fleece that is to be added is added in that it is left to stay for 15 minutes after that only it is removed, it takes up the stain. Sometimes we can see patterns of colors. If they want patterns of colors, they spread this uh, dye in the warm water. Uh, sorry, they spread the fleece in the warm water and they add dye according to the pattern they want. Sometimes you see the woolen bed sheets have certain patterns. That pattern is because the woolen sheets are, sp uh, sorry, fleece sheets are spread uh, inside that warm water. And dye is added according to the pattern that is required. So in this way, dyeing is done. 
after the dyeing is done, all those fibers, fibers are clumsy, clumsy. They are not in any particular order. Okay. They are not in any particular order. They are, uh, what do you say, uh, like a uh, unorganized threads are present in that. Those need to be combed. Okay. Combing machines are there for combing them. All the woolen fibers should come in a straight line. Till that time, all those will be combed. After combing, spinning is also done. So, the, when combing is done, all these woolen fibers will be separated. They should be wo wo woven into a uh, wool. Like, see, the bundles of wool which we get does not have individual fibers. They are having one uh, sp spun fibers that... Uh, one fiber is spun into several threads like this. It forms a thread-like structure. So this thread-like pattern that is obtained will be, uh, what do you say? They will be uh, rolled into spindles, okay? That process of spinning is to obtain wool thread. To obtain a com complete wool thread, spinning is done. And after spinning only, this single, single fibers can be uh, brought into small 2 2 millimeter threads the thickness of that thread will be 2 2 millimeters and that is uh, spun over the spindle and after that knitting knitting means uh, knitting means that woven uh, spin uh, wool threads need to be hand knitted the process of knit, uh, using needle to stitch the sweaters is called as knitting or it can be done with the machines called weaving machines and that either it is done by weaving or it is done by knitting. It makes the fabric complete. Okay. The complete fabric is obtained after the knitting is completed. Right. Okay. Sheep is generally infected with a bacteria called anthrax. Anthrax have capacity to develop sorter's disease. Sorter's disease. Why it is called sorter's disease? The person who are doing sorting, that is separation of coarse and soft wool, are called as sorters. So this disease is generally seen in people who are doing sorting or shearing. During their shearing or during their sorting, they get exposed to that bacteria. Anthrax is a bacteria that causes anthrax disease in sheep. So because of that reason, if you are exposed to that anthrax, if the person who is sorting exposed to that anthrax bacteria, he'll also uh, show some of the symptoms of this disease and that is called as sorter's disease. This type of hazard that is developed for being in a particular occupation is called as occupational hazard, okay? Occupational hazard is developed by a particular person for being in a certain profession for a long time, okay? So, with this we have completed wool, uh, production of wool process. In our next class, we will study the production of silk and with that, this chapter will come.